John here, guys, and today we're checking out the Meteor 75 Pro HD Zero Edition. This is one of the latest whoop size 75 millimeter, 45 millimeter props with HD Zero on board, and it has the newest version of Beta FPV's Express LRS all in one board. Beta FPV Meteor 75 HD Zero version. It is extremely light at only 35 grams, including the HD system on board, which consists of the Whoop light video transmitter that you can see on top and the light HD Zero camera. Now this is using, even though this is a 75 millimeter larger size Whoop, it's using the tiny little cross all-in-one flight controller with a full express lrs receiver built in the uart kind so you can actually flash it with your bond frame 1102 22,000 kv motors and it's meant to fly on 1s now for getting an hd tiny flyer 75 millimeters is the sweet spot in my mind and that's because a regular 31 millimeter prop whoop is going to be just a little bit too small to carry the slight extra weight on hd system like hd zero yes you can do it but it's going to be about 25 to 30 grams where every fraction of a gram counts this size has a little bit more power as it has a much bigger motor and it's also the perfect size if you have a little bit of skill to be able to fly it indoors on a rainy day or still take it out to a park without bothering anyone i do like that this comes with a bunch of little accessories first of all it comes with a two port charger that has usb-c input and outputs to two of these bt 2.0 charging ports it comes with these pair of one celled 550 milliamp batteries i actually really like this little usb-c charger that comes with beta fpv that means you could bring a power bank like this and basically whoop until your fingers fall off comes with your hd zero update port a USB-C to actually go to the charger, some extra props, screws, and a little screwdriver. I do like when these beginner size drones come with everything you pretty much need. All you're gonna need is some goggles or HD Zero VRX and your controller or radio with Express LRS and you'll be ready to go. It is meant for the larger size battery and I do like that. And you would just slide the battery into the slot at the bottom, plug in outside, pushing it. I was getting just under two minutes of flight time flying far and fast but if you were indoors putting around or just flying slow can easily stretch out to double the time or maybe even longer depending on how you like to fly so is this thing worth it if you're a new flyer of the hd zero gog then you're gonna want to have some whoops to be able to enjoy that beautiful image indoors and out and this is the perfect combination of size weights should make it nice and juicy let's see how it does in one of the world's most famous flight spots the Houston nice. This is using a three blade 45 millimeter prop made by Jim Fan. And you could compare it, this UR UAV 85 Pro. They look very close to the same size, but this has 10 millimeters more prop size. They both weigh about 35 grams, but for this, one you get the hd system this one you get a little bit more power now they're both running 1102 size motors this one 10,000 kv this one 22,000 kv that means this one is going to spin that same size motor much much faster this one's going to spin it much slower but it's going to use a bigger more aggressive prop now the difference between them though is this one you can get away with using this very tiny one cell battery and this one uses a two cell battery with a full XT30. That means that outdoors, this one's gonna fly a little bit better, have a little bit more power, but it may be just a little bit too much power and speed for indoors, whereas this one, whereas the 75 series Meteor is gonna be indoors slash outdoors. So a lot of versatility there to be able to do either one. It's just amazing how polished these products are now. Look at the injection molded canopy on the top. It's just quite stunning. You have a lot of camera adjustability, so you can adjust it flat or nearly flat if you're flying indoors and you can really crank it up to be able to fly outdoors if you want a little bit more power and speed in the forward direction i like that they're adapting the bt 2.0 connector this seems to be the best and most powerful longer flight times for your whoops out there well this thing's pretty much just as good as you think it might be there's going to be links in the description below so you can check one out if you're kind of on the fence you want something that you can fly indoors and outdoors if you're a whoop racer you're probably still on analog to be able to save every last gram of weight but if you like to just dabble inside 
and have a little park flyer that's not going to make a lot of noise, not going to annoy people. I kind of like